Hey guys, Snow1000 here from Snow Nation, posting you another video. Uh, it's technically the second part of my uh, how to make a bucket server, but today we're doing port forwarding. Um, this is commonly overthought, overdone. People make it way too complicated. It doesn't need to be that hard. Um, so what you really want to do is first is you're going to hit your Windows key or your R, or I think it's just the Windows key and search on Windows 7. Windows 7, Windows 8, doesn't really matter. Either or works the same way. So you're going to open up, you're going to type in CMD, and hit enter. It's going to bring up this black screen, as many of you should know. What you're going to type in is IP config, all one word, IP config. Okay, and then you're going to hit enter. That's going to bring up all this stuff. You don't need any of it, because you're going to scroll up a little bit, and you're following, not this one, by the way, default gateway. No, you want to scroll up, and you're going to find, it's either going to be 198.16.1, and then maybe point some other number, or point, you're going to also look for this one, IPv4 address, okay? So that's what you're going to type in when you get to your uh, internet browser, and then that's what you're going to type in when you do um, something else. So what you want to do first is go into your internet browser, type in your IP. i got to make sure I do this right because I always type it in wrong. So there you go. And I'll ask you for your username and password. So username is um, always going to, is whatever, um, it's gonna, always going to be admin. It's always going to be admin. And then your password I'm sorry, I'm going to do that. I was going to do my Wi-Fi router name. Is like if you go to a friend's house or a friend comes over to your house, um, the password they use to get on your Wi-Fi is going to be this password. So I'm going to type that in. And then it's going to bring you to something, some page along this line, okay? Yours might say port forwarding. It might say applications and gaming. But that's where you want to go. One of those two tabs. And you're going to come to a tab that looks just like this. It might be really wide, have like three rows, have like an add port forward button. But the first thing is always going to be application name. Name it Minecraft because that's what it is. Then it's going to ask you for the external port and internal port. You're going to do 25565 and 25565 because that's the Minecraft port. And it may ask you for four of these. It may only ask you for two. doesn't matter. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make your protocol both. Make sure that's both or not. And this is where everyone's is a little bit different. So you have your 198 or 192.168.1 point. This is where it gets different. So you got to go back to your CMD. And where it says IPv4, not the IPv6. You don't want that one. Your IPv4 address. And it's going to say some numbers. It might be just one. It might be just 122. It might be something else. So then you're going to type that. And you're going to type that in as your address. Okay. And you're going to enable it. Do whatever. Confirm it whatever your thing asks you and then you're going to save your settings after that what you want to go is go back to google and just search what's my ip and then it's going to bring up your ip and that's mine and um then what you're going to do is usually this is a steady um not dynamic ip if you guys have a dynamic ip and this is changing every time you go to google uh, ask me, I'll try and figure that out for you. Usually you get your static IP. Probably going to blur this out for the sake of the video because I don't want you guys, you know, using my IP for whatever you can do with it. And yeah, so that's what you're going to do there. And then you're going to go into here. And what you're going to do probably for your friends or anything, if you want them actually to get on it, is you're going to run your server. It can be called run.bat. Um, in my video, I told you guys to call it run.bat. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You can call it start.bat. Anything you want, as long as it has .bat in the end. And then, so once your servers are up and running, try and get rid of the wrong CMD, because you don't really need that open. You're going to run your Minecraft. And using the IP you had on IP Chicken, um, it's going to bring you to, or it's not going to bring you, you're going to type it in in your Minecraft multiplayer. Uh, add server that IP you saw in Minecraft Chicken. So there's mine. And it says, yeah, because I failed the first time. And then you can join it. Your friends can join it. Mine's whitelisted, so none of you guys can join it. But I mean, I can add you guys from play with me. This version of Bucket is outdated. I haven't filled the. I really just got World Edit and uh, like essentials and stuff. And yeah, I didn't really do anything. I just kind of like fool around on this world. I, it's not anything serious. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you port forward your map. It's actually a lot simpler than most people think. And I think that's about it. Any questions you have, just ask me in the comments. And thanks for watching.